dealing with some bull crap. Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Now, just stupidity, man. El Paso. These guys choose to work on the road at night and during the day like some idiots. Now, stupidity. Now, John Elway has stepped down from dealing with the team all in general. And John Elway really was just there just to be there. But <clears throat> this has something to do, in my opinion, not only with Sean Payton, but Brian Flores' case is going to court. It made it out of arbitration, and it's in the court system. And I think he's, of course, the Broncos, the Giants, and I think the Vikings. No, not the Vikings, somebody else are a part of um, doing him dirty and not giving him the job as a head coach. Um, now, John Elway really was just there to be a face, allegedly. He was just the face. I forgot the other guy who was really doing all the work, but he started taking a, he started moving out of that title. Which he, which he should have never got the title from the get-go. You know, John Elway, you know, great quarterback, Hall of Famer, but in my opinion, made some poor decisions, like especially a quarterback. He had to go get a quarterback. And Peyton Manning and now Russell Wilson. So he basically decided to step down. Which they call them being fired, but... That's basically just stepping down. For us, it's fire. It's crazy. It's crazy how everything goes, huh? But Sean Payton is there to not play around. Now, word has it is that... Um, they were trying to come up with some type of thing where Russell Wilson was um, basically was trying to get Pete Carroll and the GM fired and bring in Sean Payton to Seattle. Now, I don't believe that at all. I just think that was just some BS for them to throw out. You know. To try to add some news there, but this basically Sean Payton's doing because Sean Payton's going to bring in his own players and his own guys. Sean Payton would not have taken his job if he was not getting all the power. So I could see him pushing him out. Man. Excuse me. Tired as heck. Now, also in the news, <laughs> Kid Rock, if y'all haven't seen it, make sure that you go type in Kid Rock and Bud Light. Bud Light decided in their best judgment to get a transgender to market um, one of their Bud, their Bud Light brands, which, in my opinion, was the dumbest thing that they could have done or thought of because... You basically, a lot of, especially white American men, do not want no damn transgender promoting the beer that they drink. And then they got the beer cans that color. So Kid Rock basically posted a video <laughs> on Twitter shooting the cans. Like he just shot all the cans up. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. I was like, wow, that's crazy, for real.
But I don't think it was that big of a backlash for it because it was Kid Rock. But yeah, Kid Rock open fired on a case of Bud Light. <laughs> um, he had both the can packs and he had the um the um the bottles, all of that stuff. He shot through all of it with an assault rifle. So they not gonna say nothing about that. <laughs> they gonna let that slide. They gonna let that go. So we'll see, man. That, you know, you allow him to do that, attack transgenders and all that. And you guys can't, and not you guys, but in general, they're trying to say, well, black men have a problem. It ain't just black men, it's men, period. Men, period, are tired of this damn agenda. We're tired of it. We're tired of the agenda with the, um, the homosexuality. And the transgender, we're tired of it. We're tired of it being forced down our throats. We don't force our heterosexual, or we don't, we don't um force us being heterosexual down your throat, do we? No. So we should get the same respect. And Kid Rock, I don't, I don't have a problem with Kid Rock did, because Kid Rock is right. It's like, come on, are we for real? <laughs> this is what we doing. For real. And that's how it is. <laughs> Kid Rock is like, look, I don't want none of that crap. <laughs> I don't need none of that crap in my beer or even pushing my beer, you know. And you had people talking about this is an outrage with Kid Rock. Man, look. <laughs> it's, it's, people tired of it. Oh. Hey, how you doing? You know, men are tired of it, man. We are tired of all of this transgender crap being forced down our throat. We're tired of it. You know, and I'm tired of people saying that you homophobic or, or you're transphobic, all these damn phobic. <laughs> because... We don't agree with the bottom line, which is you got all of this crap. And Kid Rock, he took a stand. So he's pissed off. So just wanted to make another quick video for y'all. I, I think I got one up already. But thank you guys for listening. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Share this, hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if y'all love what y'all hear, y'all can um go to the description box, hit that link that'll take you to my cash app. You could donate whatever your hearts desire. Um, you guys can also super chat when the video is premiering now or going live. And you guys can leave a super thanks after the video is over with. So thank you guys for your love and support. I'm out. Deezy.